G'day, it's Pete here and I'm back for Hand of the Week. Now, this hand actually comes from a YouTube bridge streamer, T. Gwynn, who was playing a challenge match against Ann Edwards, another Australian player that I know. And this posed a question of what should I bid or what should be bid? And I'll put, put the hand up and talk about a few of the options, but I won't actually say what my options are. I want to hear from you guys what you think you might bid. And in the next Next one, I might post a bit more about my views of what I think should be done on this hand. And we might be alluding to a possible segment in the future. Anyway, we have this hand, all vulnerable, lovely 382 naught. And your partner opens one clop, so things are looking really good. And now East gets in the way and bids four diamonds. So, what should we bid on this? So, let's just look at a few different options. So. One of them might just being four hearts. You'll be pretty safe in making four hearts. Uh, by the way, you are playing match points, not imp scoring. So match points, uh, what should you bid? So four hearts, that would almost certainly make. You'd be hard pressed not to make four hearts, but you could probably find a layout where you can't. Um, you might choose to bid six hearts. That's another pretty practical bid. Um, but you are missing uh, Ace, King, Queen of Spades and the King of Diamonds. How many of these are you expecting your partner to show up with? Um, you've also got eight hearts you're missing the Jack. You may have a heart loser in the end, but uh, tough to tell. Uh, also, uh, is seven hearts an option? Do you want to try and keep that available? And if so, what would you bid? Um, you might try and play in no trumps. Um, is that a reasonable option? Uh, also... Um, what about five hearts? What does five hearts mean in this sequence? Anyway, they're just a few of the different options, and then maybe there are a few more that you ha I haven't mentioned here. And what do you think you would bid with this hand? So interesting bidding problem. I want to hear from your answers here. And I thought this was a really good bidding problem, and what sort of bids do you actually want to make with this? One slight extra point was, I've got a little gripe about how robots preempt. They've been messing me around so much. And I just want to show you like how bad I am at judging what East hand is. So have a guess at what sort of hand East might have, and then I'll just bring it up. All right. So East hand for four diamonds is this. They have an eight five. They have five clubs and eight diamonds. Now you are vulnerable, but they couldn't manage five diamonds. But this is a freak hand. Now, if I got doubled in five diamonds, on a really bad day, you might be getting some, like, terrible result. But, like, you have an 8-5. This one club bid doesn't mean anything a lot of the time. Um, and you could be making five diamonds opposite not much. Four diamonds, pretty conservative. Like, they're thinking of, like, the worst-case scenario, but they just don't put any pressure here. And an 8-5. Like, you could have an 8-2-2-1 or something for this. But, yeah. Anyway, that's my little thing about uh, the... The robot's preempting. I disagree with their style. 8-5, I think, is worthy of bidding game. Anyway, what should you bid with this hand? Have a think about it. Think about the options, and I'd like to hear from you. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.